Um, in addition to transcribing notes and, and documenting in the EMR during an office encounter or a visit, you also have the ability to do some limited navigation utilizing the gray buttons that appear on the screen. So if you see a rectangular gray button, you do have the ability to speak into your microphone and navigate to that area. Open chart. Give your phone messages. If I wanted to go at the end of the day and kind of answer all my phone messages before I left, I could navigate over to the phone message area. And again, using my gray buttons, I can then open up these messages and address them. Open. I've advised the patient to use an over-the-counter cortisone cream twice a day. If it's not improved in three days, please call back to the office and schedule an appointment. Period. Or a lot of doctors choose instead to, in, uh, to reply this message back to the nurse who sent it to them with instructions on what to do. Reply. Lisa, comma. Please advise the patient to apply the cortisone cream that I prescribed last month twice a day to the rash on his right hand until it improves. Period. If it's not improved in three days, he should contact the office and make an appointment. Period. Ten. Okay. Mark is done. Open. And you can see how you could quickly go through a series of phone messages and answer all your calls without ever touching your keyboard or your mouse. Same thing with test results. It's really nice to be able to open up your test results. And if you wanted to make a comment on a particular test result, you're reviewing the test result, you can actually, any of these windows here, the comment or the note, you can actually use Dragon to dictate in any of these areas as well. So again, it's not just for office visits internal mail, comments on attachments, um, any of the things like that that you're utilizing, sending portal messages, anything like that that you're doing within the micro product, you do have the ability to use the voice recognition. Okay, so let's go back up to scheduled visits and let's go through a couple of different scenarios on utilizing Dragon. First scenario is an example of Peter Paxton. This is an example of using a point and click template within MicroMD, but a lot of providers still want a little bit more narrative information. So if I wanted to open up this particular encounter, and if it's your hat to mark things on a different page, like reviewed or to look at information and then use next, buttons at the bottom you can navigate utilizing voice recognition. When you're actually in the chief complaint area, if you wanted to do an HPI, maybe this is an annual visit and you like to do a little more narrative once a year with your patients, kind of give a summary of how they're doing, you can actually open up the item right next to the topic. You can talk about it. Patient is a 50-year-old diabetic patient, type 2, comma, being seen today for their annual visit and follow-up care period. Patient states he's monitoring his glucose at home about twice a day and it's averaging between 120 and 150, and he is taking his medications consistently, period. So you can actually indicate you know, a little bit more narrative if you want to add a little bit more to your notes. Now, when you do that, it does actually put it into your notes. If you hit the preview button here at the top on the ribbon bar, you can actually see how that information was added in right to the notes. If you have a custom note, you can also pull that into your custom note as well. Another area that providers like to utilize Dragon is if there, is, there has been a change in weight or some type of an item in the exam that's remarkable, rather than using the point and click, they can actually drop down to the comment section and you can say, Patient has done an excellent job dropping approximately 20 pounds in the last 12 months due to moderate exercise and cutting down on sugary soda soft drink, period. Okay? So you can actually add that narrative in there if you want, and that will again appear next to the item for the comment box that you've completed. So that's an example of a point and click. Now, another area in the point and click template that a lot of providers choose to utilize Dragon would actually be in the, on the assessment tab of the wizard or the diagnosis area, and that is by putting in a summary or impression and findings. Sometimes a little paragraph in this area is very helpful because this field can be isolated out of the point and click note and dropped into a referral letter or a custom note. So if you're sending a patient out to a specialist or a note back to a referring provider and you don't want to send a very detailed, long, lengthy note, you get in the habit of just dictating a little summary in here that you want to be the message to that other provider that sent you the care of their patient or that you were sharing in the care of the patient with a specialist, 
you can put a little summary in there and just isolate that in a nice letter and you don't have to re-dictate a letter or anything like that. This is a great window that a lot of our providers are utilizing. Okay, another great tool for utilizing Dragon is for those providers that maybe just want a more simplistic approach or perhaps to speed up a little bit. Um, as we all know, stage one meaningful use, both years, years one and years two, there's no restrictions at all on how you document your actual office exam, provided you put in all your key data elements. So this is an example that a lot of our providers are utilizing because it's a combination of point and click and utilizing Dragon. So here's James Teal. I'm going to open up his visit. We call this a hybrid visit. If you're ever speaking with any of our trainers, this is um, one of the recommended workflows that we can offer. And again, as you're going through the note, if you want to review or navigate to the next screen, you can actually speak your navigation. Next. And then go through your steps. But actually, where Dragon really comes in handy is again, by dictating an HPI, clicking on this box, you can dictate your HPI if you wish. Put on your examination. Jump down to our examination stage. With MicroMD, you can actually set up the hybrid wizard where the first couple steps, your review of systems, your subjective, are point and click. So you get all those discrete data elements and you get your coding support. Then when you get to your exam, if you have a pretty standard template you use often, you can actually create a macro in MicroMD or pull in a note out of MicroMD. So the first thing I'll do is a quick macro here. My exam step is just going to deal with my regular multi-system exam, normal exam macro. I can execute a cue command that will actually put my note in as if I've dictated with everything normal. But now we all know sometimes there's issues, everything's not going to be normal. So we don't like the cookie cutter and template. What we're just doing here is putting in suggested normals that you'll stop and elaborate on for any patient that, that is not appropriate for. So for example, this patient has wheezing, some issues going on respiratory. So I'm going to actually jump down. Everything else is looking pretty normal. Jump down into the area of the chest. I'm squeezing a button on the power mic, which is then programmed to look in to the next set of brackets that you see. So by choosing the power mic button, I'm actually navigated down to chest. And now I want to replace my normal finding with this patient that I've just examined that actually had some respiratory issues going on. Pleasing bilaterally, comma, scattered bronchi period. Leave that. Patient has shortness of breath on exertion. I can actually navigate, or you don't have to put a template in or normal. Then you can just put a, a bracket stop after each body system and just allow yourself to dictate normally. Negative for joint pain. Comma, no swelling, period. So you can actually go through. So once you're finished with the exam, there's a button you can hit on your power mic. It will actually remove all of those brackets, and it looks like a completely dictated note. And this is where the hybrid gets very powerful. Because at this point, I know this patient has bronchitis. I just examined them. I get, I know what's wrong, and I want to speed up the rest of my notes. On the very next step, this is where I'm going to utilize a form for template for bronchitis. I'm going to load a template in here called bronchitis. Now, all of the standard templates in my from Gene now offer templates that are dragon friendly. For example, bronchitis adults would have point and click discrete data on all of the typical soap steps, subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. But with the alternative clinic guides that are available, we've taken the same content but limited only to the steps that I want to utilize point and click. So in this particular example, I don't want any examination information to be discrete data. I simply want my assessment, medication, and plan choices to load up because I've already dictated my exam. So I'm going to load up my assessment, medication, and plan clinic guide. And now here are my choices. And again, utilizing the question mark feature microbe is a fabulous way not to have cookie cutter notes. It just loads up suggested items. But you can also default. If we know it's going to be bronchitis because that's the template I'm loading, why would I have to click on it? Let's just leave it there and click. I can simply choose any other diagnosis that will be pertinent to this visit. And then I can go on to my next step and choose the medications I might want to prescribe for bronchitis. And then finally, on my last step, I could actually have the different instructions I give every bronchitis patient. If something doesn't apply, I live in Florida, which is a warm humidifier, so that's usually one that I use as an example to, to take out. And then basically um, choose any items that are optional. And you're basically finished at that point. So the hybrid version allows you to choose point and click steps and drag and steps that are the most efficient. So going through that again, just to show you kind of more in real time, 
I could open up this encounter if I was the provider, read what's going on that my nurse has entered for the chief complaint. I can then choose to jump ahead, right to my subjective, to look at the information, maybe add my HPI in this window right here. Then I can actually go through my review of system steps. Again, everything can be defaulted to the normal, and I can just simply change the ones that are positive. I can go to my medical information review and decide which information I want to look at today and go through and choose my different choices here that I might want to review. There's a lot of ways to review medical information in MicroMD. Uh, this is just one option. When I close out of this, the system will track the items that I've looked at to give me coding credit. Now I'm ready to do my exam. And again, I can call this exam up one of two ways. I showed you a moment ago how you can call it up with a verbal macro. In this particular case, not the dragon feature saying normal exam macro and having it complete. But in this particular case, I also have the ability to load in maybe a complete exam, not just the exam. I wanted the entire show code. I can actually load in a text encounter. And at this particular time, again, using my voice recognition buttons, I can actually stop in any of the particular areas. So I don't have to have the previous step on a different screen. I can do everything on one screen if I wish. Um, and go through and enter my note. Once I'm finished dictating, I can hit the button and remove all the brackets that were my placeholders and finish my note rather quickly. Utilizing loading the template through MicroMD versus speaking in a, a macro with your Dragon allows you to pull discrete data fields out of the chart and into the note. So it's really up to you whether you prefer to launch your exam template verbally with Dragon or loading them through the chart. I mean, through their product.